Crichton Prime here again, the Gentleman Autobot, coming at you from Crazy TV on Icon. Welcome to my next overview for Beast Wars Transformers. Uh, for this episode, it's Frankenstein theme, Werewolf theme, and the Tasmanian Devil all combined in Feral Screen Part 1. Finally, it's the debut appearance of the Transmetal 2s. I'm telling you, Connor, it's not a skirt! It's a kill! It, it must be a kill! It's, a, it's not a skirt! He's not a feminist! He's not... Hang on, hang on, hang on, just... Uh, oh, chicken soup, you're my only friend. Okay, at the beginning, Waspinay and Megatron have a, a stasis pod with a blank protoform in their possession, uh, in a sort of stone canyon where there's a big storm uh, in the night, of course, and uh, uh, Waspinay has been tasked with guarding this pod with his life. You know, this is... This is the Predacon you wouldn't rely on too much, you know? The one who gets destroyed all the time. So, to have, for Megatron to have Waspin at a guard the pod with his life, it's a bit risky. Why he never picked Inferno is beyond me. Then again, everyone loves Waspin here. And of course, Osp Optimus and Cheetor are pursuing, but Cheetor makes a move that almost puts the Protoform at risk, and they get away from the pod with the pod. A depth charge arrives and pursues, and Optimus is a uh, pursues on his own. Optimus is a bit rough on Cheetor for putting the pod, pod at risk because right now the protoform's innocent. Uh, and Cheetor decides to prove himself. Uh, but meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, yes, we're we're going to be introduced to what I like to uh, think of as a sort of Frankenstein theme going on. Okay, uh, with the Frankenstein vibe, there's this sort of big machine that Megatron's had constructed with these um, DNA, with these claw thingies, I, I can't remember what those are for, they're injected into the protoform, and uh, Megatron has with him a sort of a transmetal, a transmetal driver, which is of alien origin, but it's been altered by him, and they install this transmetal driver into the machine, and uh, with was whilst what Waspinay is doing his whole eagle theme, you know, yes, Megatron. Um, they're sort of, I, I say sort of a lot, by the way, don't I? Sorry. Um, uh, they have, it's really, it, again, it really is like Frankenstein. We've got a, a, a lightning conductor to top it right at the top. And, and of course, Megatron's, um, with this new transmetal driver, He's making Transmetal 2 life, and um, uh, with this he makes Dinobot 2. Yeah, so it's a new improved Transmetal 2 Dinobot. You can see him right there. It's like a white and burgundy red raptor. It's much more menacing and cybernetic looking. But unfortunately for us fan, he had a new allegiance to the Predacon, so he's back on the losing side. And of course he, he lacks that sense of honour. And and uh, Connor's lucky, by the way, my friend Connor, because he's got a figure of Transmetal 2 Dinobot. I could have had him to display. I don't have any Beast Wars Dinobots. Anyway, oh yeah, and, and in Robot Mode, Dinobot has this cool la laser scope. It's like an infrared. Uh, he demonstrates his firepower. For, it's also a laser. But it blasts one of his fingers off, bless him. But yeah, uh, Cheetah and Depth Charge uh, attack, make a move to steal the uh, Transmetal Driver, but Cheetah gets blasted in the machine and blown up with it and Depth Charge has to go back home with a base with what remains of Cheetor so it's believed that he's dead okay so Depth Charge is analyzing this uh, driver but he finds that it's been altered by Megatron and can enhance power and then he makes a move to destroy it by throwing it into the lava but Black Arachne has been listening in so and she's up to no good so unbeknownst to Depth Charge she catches it and has it for herself now and meanwhile outside uh, well whilst Optimus is lamenting on you know, feeling bad for being rough on Cheetor uh, uh, Cheetor meanwhile is still alive really damaged but he's having a sort of a, a werewolf moment where he's changing you don't see it but there's sort of a green glow around his leg it's again it's a werewolf vibe I wouldn't say this is for Halloween specifically, but we got Frankenstein and werewolves, so what more do you want? I know what you all want, a rubber ducky in Megatron's bath. 
yeah, the iconic rubber duck. We finally get to see that when Megatron's his bath and rampage is being presented to the new Dinobot. He's disgusted by the fact that it's the core of his own spark. That he, uh, even though he makes a move to rip it from Dinobot's chest, Dinobot has the ability to still to torture Rampage. So that's still going on with poor Rampage. And of course, Step Charge after he's repaired gets kidnapped by Dinobot straight afterwards. Yeah, not a good day for him, is it? Okay, so um, Depth Charge is taken in and uh, in interrogated in a forest by uh, Dinobot, Megatron, Rampage, and Quick Strike. And, uh, but, um, yeah, uh, um, Depth Charge is being all sarcastic. Well, he means it when he says the Transmel Driver's gone, even though he doesn't know it. But he's like, ain't that a kick in the lung? That's. <sighs> oh, such a badass, that. Such a rebel, that guy, I love him. And anyway. Uh, it's it seemed like this is the end for Depth Charge, but then a mysterious Savage Kitty comes in and dispatches with all the pre the Predacons one by one, even the new Dinobot poor guy. It's his first day, uh, and Megatron, um, oh, after after accidentally blowing a wasp, there, he gets knocked over onto his own tail weapon and starts spinning like the Tasmanian Devil. You th uh, and he falls. It's so undignifying. You'd think it wouldn't happen to Megatron of all characters. Poor guy. And um, of course, uh, Optimus saves Depth Charge, and then this Savage Kitty gets away back at base. Uh, back at base, we're uh, finally seeing this Optimus's beast mode again, which is again is very rarely seen. And um, uh, and uh, they're still on the lookout. But then Cheetor returns. In his transmetal form, oh, still damaged, he, he falls out unconscious to be continued. Have you enjoyed this episode when you see it, if you haven't already. Coming next, the Werecat theme is carrying on from here in Feral Screen Part 2. Yes, this time it's Part 2. I'm sorry I got it wrong last time. I don't script this, alright? It it's all improvised on the spot, alright. Part 2 next.